Hey, bro, what happens when your missus puts you in a sneaker band? <laughs> oh, man, that's bad times, bro. <laughs> I know. You get the bros to pick them up for you. Episode 91 of the Shooter Podcast with me and the bro 808 Kicks HL. Like we always say, please do like, follow, subscribe. Come and check come and check out the podcast. Come and check out the YouTubes. Come and check out the socials. Come and check out the bros because you know what it is. When you when we get on the podcast, you know what time it is. And what time is it this week, bro? Same time it is every week, bro. We're trying to take over the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yes, sir. Please, uh, obviously, please do check out all the socials. Please do check out all the audio podcasts because we are probably up to date right now as we speak with episode 91 going on live at the same time as it goes on YouTube. So go and check it out, guys. Go and check out 808 Kicks Till. But, bro, what's on today, bro? We've got, we got a hectic program on today. We've got some fun and games on today. What's happening? Yeah, man. We got, uh, we got a very special guest on the pod today. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to get the bro <laughs> who hails from a place that shall not be named just yet. He stands taller than probably both of us. He wears <laughs> the size that is the single hardest to get. Yet his collection is one of the most diverse in the community. It is none other than Rick. Duh. What up, what up, what up? In the building. <laughs> What's up? Appreciate y'all having me on, man. You didn't want to say the name of the town, man? It's Memphis, man. You got a Memphis uh, special right here. In the, in the Lord, hold on, 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 hold on. First of all, first of all, first of all, Rick Dub. May I call you Rick? You can. Mr. Dub. I have to ask you a question. What's up? Where were you on the night the last time something got stolen from Nike Memphis? I just need to know. The community needs to know the whereabouts of I was Mr. Doug. with my wife and children. Are you I have sure? a rock solid <laughs> alibi. Yes. All right. uh, was it? Was it Rick Dubba Dub sneakers in the tub? <laughs> 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 and I was at home. I just, I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure we, we run, we run a clean business over here. Okay. Do do? Do. I'm not gonna bring any felonious activity over to the pod. I promise you. Okay. Okay. Man. How does it, how does it make you feel knowing that, um, in your hometown, sneakers are getting stolen like that? Uh, that happens everywhere. It's just that since Memphis has a hub. It seems like it gets more notoriety. And then again, around the community, everybody knows about the Memphis specials. If you get early shoes without a box, odds are if it's not fake, it probably came from here. So that's, <laughs> that's just kind of is what it is at this point. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy to, to for y'all. Like, so you just you live with that notion. Yes. That's something that's something that I can't speak to. I don't know if. Y'all got a thing out there in London like that. You can speak to TJ. Like we know from like I, I can I can talk about flea market stuff. And of course now with the internet, ain't no telling where people are getting this stuff from. But as far as it's like, is that a cultural thing? Like that's something that's always been what's going on there? Memphis has always been a sneaker town. Even with, when I wasn't living here, when I lived in when I was born and raised in Little Rock, even before I moved here, like if you knew a cat from Memphis, they were always, it was Air Force Ones. It was definitely Jordans. Uh, when Penny came up, it was Pennies. It was always a sneaker thing. And with, again, with there being a hub here, somebody, if you don't know somebody that working Nike or have at least a connection to somebody that working Nike, you're not even trying hard enough. Like everybody knows somebody that works in Nike. So everybody's got a plug somewhere. Everybody's got a connection somewhere. Like that's, that's just what it is. 
Ooh, that's so, so I was gonna say, when I when I hear when I hear people from from Tennessee say, "Yeah, my such and such or my blah," it's true. It's probably true. Okay. okay. I was I was gonna say one thing. Have you seen Area Fifty Nike yet? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 no, no. So, so area area fifty Nike is what we call it. Is they new warehouse in uh, Mississippi? Nah, I have not seen that. No. So <laughs> when you order from Nike, mm-hmm. how fast are your packages coming? It depends on the shoe. Like if it's uh, something older, I might get it the next day. Um, if it's something new, like the the reimagined Royals, I got those. It maybe took three, four days. Where did they come from? I don't even remember what was on the box. I don't even think it was from uh, Mississippi, to be quite honest. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if people ordering from Nike in Memphis getting shipped from down the street or around the corner. They might be. They might be. The only thing I knew about Memphis is when my wife and my sister went and they was drunk walking up and down Bill Street eating uh, bologna sandwiches and barbecue. <laughs> hey, barbecue bologna is definitely a thing here. I've not, as long as I've been here, I've not had barbecue bologna, uh, but that is definitely a thing. Here we go, Food Dog Podcast episode again. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this episode like three or four now? We all talk about food for some reason. Are we hungry when we actually record? You know what? Awesome. We need to make sure we're well fed before we get to get on the podcast next, podcast next time. Um, going back to the story, going back to our story, no names will be divulged. We ain't snitching on anybody here, but have you guys ever been on a sneaker band? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you cannot order anything. <laughs> Don't you order another damn shoe? Yes. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you the story behind what the intro. So what happened was um, the, the bro reached out to me. Well, I'm not going to name names. Somebody reached out to me, a very close friend of mine, and he goes, "Bro, I need you to do me a favor." Because what's up, bro? I got you anytime, any anytime, any place. I got you. And he goes, "I need you to order these two shoes for me because I'm on a sneaker ban." <laughs> And I'll come round and I'll pick them up and I'll slide them in, but I'm on a sneaker bad. So the, the, the question, one question, what have you done when you're on a sneaker band to get sneakers? Rick, please. Um, like, you, know what? Hey, you know what? I'm not good. Like, you know what? Sometimes you just got to bite the bullet. But hey, I got this joint coming in and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you go get, that's what you go get. But like, you know what? That is probably you know, just go ahead and just face the best thing. Honesty is the best policy. Honesty yep. is the best policy. I, I've, I've, I've. Um, sometimes when my missus has turned around and said to me, "Oh, um, you're not, you're not getting a sneaker, or you should slow down," I said, "Oh, sorry, I've got sneakers coming, so uh, I'll right. do it after that." Because <laughs> you, 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 you go in bunches, like. You you cop regularly, like we all do for the most part. Yeah. But you'll go in bunches where you get like full sneakers in a week. Yes, yeah, sometimes like, you have a run. Yes, like now. Yeah. So that ain't that ain't that's that's not good for. Uh, that's not that's not a good look coming in the house. <laughs> Damn, another one. Damn, another one. Damn, another one. Damn, another one. Like, it's been, look, especially when you got when you got cameras. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that at the door now? What they just trying- Why is that box so big? I ain't ordering nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I can't hide. No- I-, I wear a fourteen. I can't hide any box that comes. Oh, like, that box is gonna be huge, no matter what. Like, so- okay, okay. That was the other thing, bro. That's the other thing with you. You are the dreaded size fourteen. Yeah. How tall are you? Uh, a little bit over six five. Yeah, so you are a size fourteen. Of course, yeah, you're a size fourteen. <laughs> so, <laughs> shout out, to, shout out to being a little over six five. <laughs> uh, how how truly difficult? Because we know Cam, Cam, Cam does thirteen and fourteen. Do you do thirteen? No. Um, that's how I know that I went up to uh, fourteen. So, quick story: when I moved here, 
to Memphis, I was wearing a size 13. The first shoe I ever bought resale was the Kobe 9 Beethoven, the mm -hmm. Fly Dead Beethoven. And I got it and I put it on and my back immediately started. I couldn't even stand up. It was like, damn, why does this shoe not work for me anymore? And I stood up and like, no, this shoe does not fit. So mm -hmm. from that point on, I was like, yeah, I got to go up a size. It just so happened that my wife was pregnant at the time. So I think I got the dreaded like pregnancy, like your foot go up, my foot go up. Mine just never oh. went back down. Oh. So, so from that you, point. You, you, had a symp awkward. you had a sympathy pregnancy, uh, fat or phantom preg pregnancy kind of gains. And it never yeah. went down. Never went back down. That's crazy. So it's never since. Somebody said, somebody said out there, you need an extra inch support, bro. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Take the shoes off. <laughs> so look, you like, I, we, were, we heard you speak on it before. Uh, by the way, Rick Dub is a illustrious co-host of uh, If the Shoe Fits show, along with the bro, Mr. Miller. Shout out to the whole crew yep. over there. Uh, how how hard is it for real to get 14 on a regular basis? Um... Cause you got you got a stupid collection. Appreciate that. Lately, it's not been terribly difficult because most of the stuff that I want, um, for lack, it's sitting, so it's been good. But like, for example, that Chris Paul one, that uh, that low that just dropped, didn't even have a fourteen. Like, wasn't even available. So <laughs> that was a lot of that last year and the year before, where they would just absolutely skip 14 altogether. It would go from 13 to 15 and not even get a 14. That was frustrating then. But lately, though, uh, it's just a matter of getting in where I've been in, and i am been able to get what I want for the most part. Um, <clears throat> but how, man, do you, how do you feel when it is a women's exclusive and it stops at 10.5? I'm fine with it. It, 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 it wasn't meant for me anyway. So, like, I already know women's. I'm, I'm, I'm already know. Like, but, but there, there are there are some women's exclusives that I yeah, think are designed, designed for guys as well. I'm going to be honest. Like, some of them they're so so brilliantly done that they're not specifically gender neutral. They're basically like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, you you, you can, it's women's exclusive, but you guys, you can get this as well. Kind of like, especially with Amman and years, like when, yeah. when they have the extended side for us. And so how, how, when I'm saying, how do you feel? Like when it's a, such a gorgeous sneaker and you're looking at it and you're like, I, I would love to have this in my size. Cause I know Cam feels the same way with a size 13 or 14. He's livid. Like why, why, why do this? I, you I just know, to your it's just, it's a matter of, all right, do I even like the shoe for one? It just start mm -hmm. there. If I don't like it, then it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, and then just doing the research. If I know that it's going to be extended and there's an opportunity, if it, if I know it's going up to a 15 and a half women's, I'm like, okay, let me see what I can do. So like these, I'm on my year fives, that's probably going to be the same way how it was with the, the ones or two, like all that stuff is the same. So it's just a matter of knowing, all right, is it going to go that far? Do I even need to get my hopes up? If I don't right. even need to do that, it just starts there. Yeah. Yeah, it make a lot of sense, bro. I mean, we we do that. We complain because me and TJ both eleven, and we complain with. Well, he can do a ten and a half. I can't quite do a ten and a half. I can pull it off. It depends on the silhouette. <laughs> but I get mad at dope women colors sometimes, and I have to just because I got a sister that buys sneakers, so I have to be like, you know what, whatever, it's okay. But they, have, uh, but at least that's a good problem to have as as far as the women that they actually get dope colorways. It's not just the shrinking pink. It's like, like, oh, okay, that's actually a good looking shoe, no matter who's rocking it. I'm I'm glad that they're actually getting that option. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Like like the Jordan Free off Noirs or the women's exclusive off Noirs. That again, I think that's brilliantly done. Like yes. like for especially especially kind of I know it kind of mimics the OG Black Cement Freeze, but the the way they executed that, the perfection like that is I'm that's one sneaker I'm going for myself. But that's mm. been executed so nicely. They're like, yeah, that's a beautiful colorway. It's not it's not gender, it's it's more more unisex. Like you anybody mm. can rock that and wear that. And and it's nice to see that. Definitely nice to see that. It yeah. doesn't it helps Nike with their sell through. Like if everybody wants a shoe, it helps that line item like dang we show we sold out of this women's shoe. Oh why is that? Oh because everybody wanted it. 
when it's really, yeah. really traditionally women, sometimes that stuff sits. But when it when it's a universal or unisex, like yeah, let everybody get that. That looks good for them. Oh, hell yeah, very good, very good. Speaking of looking good, <clears throat> I spoke on your uh, the diversity in your collection. I like to pride myself on being diverse in my uh, style because I'm a style dude. But you, you cross brands, styles, and genres, meaning like running, basketball, training, casual, mm -hmm. uh, Nike, Adidas. You got Asics and New Balance and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you, give me three sleeper silhouettes. Any brand, three sleeper silhouettes that you feel like people should pay more attention to? Three sleeper. So I think you're going to know the first one. And you've asked me about it. And I gave you, me and Miller gave you the recommendation on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Nike P6000. Yes, sir. That shoe is, for my money, um, that's more comfortable. Like the Vomero's be getting all the hype this year. The P6000 is a better shoe to me. Mm. Um, it's more comfortable, uh, more I, all day. Uh, I wish they had more colors in the P6000, but as far as that shoe, that's a that's a sleeper shoe. If you don't have a P6000, go get one. You will Fool. not. You will not <laughs> um, one, one that I've been wanting to check out that I don't have yet, uh, it's a newer New Balance. It's the 990 V6. So their 990 is that kind of their flagship running silhouette, whether it's 990 or you just kind of go up the versions. Uh, yeah. I want to, I want to try a V6. Um, they've you been, got, you got the V4s and fives and whatnots. Yeah. But I just haven't tried a V6 yet. Like I missed on the, like they've been putting a lot of their good collabs with the 990 V6. So they have the action Bronson one, the Carhartt mm -hmm. one that just released, um, Levi's, doing, the Levi's, um, uh, Ronnie Fag is doing one with the, the Knicks, um, on Monday. So they put in a lot of their higher profile things on there, but I just want to try a run of the mill, regular 990 V6. Uh, oh. I finally talked Miller into getting a 990, a, a new balance for one. And he got that 990 V6. <laughs> He's like, that's the one. That's the one. Like we okay. played, like he, we kept like messing around. Like he tried the nine, 993 and the 992 and they ran a little bit long. So the 990 uh, V6 is a little bit more true to size, and he got it. He's like, yep, I see why you like New Balance now. It's just a matter of finding the right fit in the right shoe for you. Cool. Um, one more sleeper one. You know, for as much variety as I have, I kind of stay... I'm going to look at what I got. Um, Saucony. So I'm looking at this oh. shadow, the shadow six thousand. So Saucony has been getting a lot of hype because of the J tips. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. But Q, you're like me. You grew up when Saucony, the grids, when they had like every color. Uh, yes, Saucony's sure. that were like uh, the Jazz, the Jazz shoe. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. That's kind of similar to the New Balance uh, five seventy four, where they had like a simple shoe, but they had it in like every color imaginable. Uh, but it's a basic shoe, but it's very comfortable. So when you go up, he competed with the Reebok Classic and the New Balance uh, five seventy four. Exactly. But when you go up a level, whether it's the Shadow or the Grids or anything like that, talking is like very, very comfortable. So if you can find not just any hype, but just go to their website and look up any like Shadow six thousand or any Grid, that's going to be a good shoe. It's going to be a good walk around shoe. Hold on, let me. I'm I'm trying to. Uh, this is this the shoe you're talking about right here? Yes. So let me show you the one I got earlier this year. I've been having a running like sneaker of the year list, and this is one that started at the beginning of the year. So this is the maybe tomorrow hair. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Have you not seen this one before? So it looks like it's a, a rabbit. So we got the fuzzy shoelaces. You got the suede. You got the leather here on the toe box. Gum bottom. Yeah. Gum. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 
It kind of it kind of reminds me of what they did with the uh, Year of the Rabbits with the exactly. Dumbos. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, and exactly also the, um, the yeah. Exactly. The hair, the hair seven that sat around. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. What that, basically like that, but I like the the running casual shoe approach to that. Yeah, I I I feel I feel like Jordan Sevens don't get a lot of um they they're massively underrated. I think they they get don't don't get the shine, especially in the UK. They don't get that sh- that shine that they deserve. To be honest, like Sevens and Eights definitely in the UK. Uh, I think the UK predominantly sticks to like Ones, Threes, Fours. Maybe they're starting to warm up to Fives, which is quite interesting to see. Um, but yeah, they they kind of like that that kind of range doesn't really go well. Elevens always sell out. Um. Yeah, thirteens. Right. Is it only like the UK is very, very like kind of unique that way? Um, it's Air Maxes, Air Max nineties, Air Max ninety fives, and Air Max ones. Um, you get you get the you get the like the dunk lows, which is popular. Well, been been popular for the last five or six years, and now it's more like ones. And once obviously that like, starts to start to see, um, freeze freeze are getting to a bit, little bit more shine. Fours are definitely in in flavor. Um, I think I think the UK kind of listens to what happens to to in the states and mm-hmm. sees and kind of maneuvers that way and kind of follows a, more trends than being individualistic but the swag is totally different too and th- yep. that that makes me think like the fact that um rick brought up this this Saucony, i feel like Saucony should be big in the uk based on like the the fact that people in the uk love new balance and air max you know what I'm saying? The the Reebok I, I, plastics. I tell you what, this quite it's quite interesting because like like I'd say ZX Adidas ZXs are quite popular here. Uh, exactly. And and, and Saucony's so, so don't get the attention. The Joe actually Asics Joe lights don't get the attention either. So they, they, there's like there's so there's sneakers out here that you would have thought because they they when you look at Air Max ones and Air Max nineties, um, it's sort of, let, let me just tell you in the nineties it was all about. The, the the bubble the air bubble it was all about the swoosh in the bubble and that's predominantly stayed with the uk and to this day um so that you've seen that kind of predominantly like simmer or in the background and everybody still gets air max ones everybody still remembers those sneakers that are still around in their 30s and 40s still remember air max ones and air max 90s from the 90s and they kind of it's nostalgic so like reebok classics like reebok classics are still very, very not 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 popular as they were before, but everybody remembers that Reebok Classic. You see what I'm saying? Like in, in from the back in the day, and that nostalgia always sticks. And this is why, as sneakers, I think we're very, especially if you're like more OG based, you're very nostalgic in what you want to get. I got you. So like very cultural cornerstone. Um, so if you want to yeah. say for here, uh, the Air Force One, white on white, uptown, yeah. or whatever you want to call it that's kind of the foundational thing as far as the sneaker culture. So for you, it's exactly it gotcha. So, so if you, if you, if you were to, st- I would guarantee, like I, I guarantee if you were to step out here, you would hardly see anybody wear like uh, maybe you would say one or two, maybe wear Jordan 11s, Jordan, no, no Jordan 12s. Um, even though I love Jordan 12s, I still pick up Jordan 12s, Jordan 13s, nowhere to be seen. Like I, I if I wear Jordan 13, they will. I'll be the one person in the mall with that Jordan thirteen on. That's how crazy. Buy all the thirteens, all <laughs> the thirteens, bro. Right. It'd be you and my brother. My brother is in the, the Air Force. He's stationed over in the UK. It'd be you and him wearing Jordans. Promise. No, no, no. People, people over there wear Jordans. Like I've, I've been. I'm talking about obscure Jordans. Like he wears like. He likes fifteens. <laughs> he wears everything. Yeah. He wears Let, everything. Let, let me let me tell you what I do. You know the uh, Ruiz uh, eight, right? When they came out, I, I and they, they bro, beautiful sneaker. I, I actually get it. I have to actually get it from the states because obviously it didn't come out in the UK. Um, but when 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 I got it and I wore it, I kid you not, I went to the sneakers day event right in the UK, and one of the guys that's quite popular now. One of the guys, um, he asked me what they were. And I was oh, like, he didn't know. What? Wow. You, 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 these, these are Rue 8s. And it's like, did they come out in the UK? No, these are Rue 8s. And, and th- 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 this is why this is why I believe it's obscure. And some, lo- there, there are people that love 8s. There are a lot of people that love 8s, but not a lot of people love 8s. There are right. people see, that love there are people. See, you, we, we spoke on 7s a little minute ago, right? Mm-hmm. How many people know about the Greater China Jordan 7? 
I know I got mine. I know TJ got his. Did you get a pair of those? No. Did you know about it when it hit? Nope. But you know what it is now. Yep. Yeah. The the Sashiko Force. That Every I time about. I wear that, I've yep. seen that shoe one time right. on foot outside of my pair. One time in the three, three and a half years it's been out. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So stuff like that, bro. And when you pull out a, a Sockany Shadow, that that just go. I had no idea. I knew your your rotation was deep because I see how you I see how them picks come. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, and and I, I know it, I see what be going on over there. But bro, you just pulled out <laughs> something that I don't think anybody else that we could bring on here would readily. Have. There there are a couple of other people that I follow that get really all over the place. Like they're not beholden to one thing and they like me. They put me they put me to shame. Like there's like they're they're folks that they have really, really diverse collections. Yeah. And, and I think I think that comes from pretty much a love of, of sneakers. Like we I think a lot of people kind of pigeonhole themselves in terms of sneakers, um either like Nike or Adidas or a New Balance. But I think if if you truly love and I'm not saying we, we don't love sneakers. We love sneakers, right? But if you truly love love sneakers in terms of the design aesthetics, the comfortability, you you kind of expand that and you start right. like experimenting with other kind of ranges of silhouettes and the different kind of brands because you have no loyalty because you're more. I think you're more of a purist when it comes to that stage. You you want to know what the best sneakers. You want to know right. what the best tee is. You want to wear it. You want to be comfortable with it. And right. I, I, and to be honest, we do we do that with with just. Jordan brand or Adidas or, or New Balance, but a lot of people kind of divulge, go into like kangaroos and all of that stuff because they kind of want, they want to know, yeah, they don't want to mess around with that. Oh, I, get, I came up with kangaroos. Like that's a Walter Payton, like core memory, like kangaroos so having, trying to put quarters in the zipper pocket. I'm like, okay, that shit hurts. Let me take this out. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, kangaroos, that's a core thing. Like, yeah. i but, but the thing is, first time I got a kangaroo, I, I first time I actually got a kangaroo, and that was my parents bought buying it. I think they were quite back in the day didn't have a good rep in terms of the UK like growing up, but they got more and more popular over time. Um, I was I was like, what are those? Like I want I want a Nike. I want I want a Nike or Adidas. What are those? And then my, my parents were like, I just wear them, and I just wear them. I didn't know, but at the time, me me being like eight or nine or ten, whatever it was, I didn't know. I I just wanted the the latest. Like yo, everybody's wearing that swoosh, that Nike, but. I, I want to. Uh, my parents could only afford what they could afford, and they gave me what they could give me, and yeah. and I had to wear it. But like, thing is now reflecting on it, it's a bit of a nostalgia of like, oh yeah, I did, I did, I did have kangaroos when I was younger. I did have puma, and uh, I wrecked in the day that I had when I was younger. See, what I'm saying like that. That all you happened. Always tell, <laughs> you always like, tell that story, <laughs> bro. I, I I ain't got no I ain't got no story like that. I do remember having uh, Elise sneakers. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember having, you know, the low tier Nikes and Reeboks. I do remember having the Emmett Smith. Matter of fact, it wasn't, I misspoke at, at one point um, on the part. I called out the wrong uh, Emmett Smith Nike. Oh, excuse me, Emmett Smith Nike. I called out the wrong Emmett Smith Reebok shoe mm-hmm. as the one that I had as a kid. And I, I shout out to uh, East Bay Archive, man, on Instagram. I I did a deep dive on that account and saw the one that I actually had, so I was wrong about that. I can't remember the name of it, but it was the takedown version of okay. the signature image. Okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So, yeah, man, stuff like that, bro. That's why I love the Black Metallic 5 to this day, because I could never get it when I was eight years old. You know what I'm saying? So it's been yeah. my favorite sneaker ever since then. That's a, that's, a, that's a good question, bro. Like, Rick, what's your all-time favorite sneaker? Um, it's really two. It's the white and black cement three. Mm. Those are my favorites. Easy. And they came from um, that dunk contest. Like that year, 88, just seeing him with that, like the way that shoe just looks, uh, that's just my favorite shoe. And, that, and again, that came more, not even, I saw the dunk contest, but it's the photos after the fact. That just like mm. stick with me. I'm a very visual. Person. Tell me, tell me you have the free throw lines. Tell me you have the free throw lines. That's one of the ones after my foot size went up, uh, I could not get. 
Oh man, I, tr- I tried. That's one of my early uh, sneakers losses. I tried. Bro, and, I, regret, and, and trying to circle back to get those, I'm not trying to pay that. That, that, <laughs> that, that, that is Mission Impossible. That is yeah, Mission but, Impossible. But, but we know we know you got at least two different versions of the white cement three in your collection. I got one. Yeah. I got the reimagined one. That's it. That's all. That's enough. Every, that's every, only every, one I got. Everything yeah. else is out of my price range. Um, Fast. Yeah. Fast. <laughs> so that Fast. when I saw that that one was dropping, it was like. Bro, I don't care if I don't get another shoe the rest of the year. I have to have that one. And Miller looked out for me and got, got that a one. A size 14 white cement uh, 2018? That got to be like 800. Nope, I'm not. Whatever. Yeah. Not yeah. Uh, bro, like, there's so many there's so many regrets. Trust me, there's so many regrets we can go through. But talking about Mission Impossible. <laughs> For you, bro. All right, cool. Loose shoes as well. We always do this when we have a guest on board. We didn't do it for Mr. Miller last time because he's, he's, that's the second time he came on. But loose shoes or dump, bro. Are you choosing, losing, or dumping Nike knowing that you like the P600? Are you losing or choosing the new Balance 9960 V2? Or are you losing or choosing the Sockney Shadow 6000? So if you if you choose whatever you choose, you and the whole community is an abundance of this this silhouette. If you lose it, you don't get it, but everybody else gets it. If you dump it, it don't even exist. Okay. <laughs> I told you, Mission Impossible, bro. <laughs> Your three gonna, sleeper picks. So I'm gonna choose for everybody and yourself and myself i'm going to choose the new balance uh 990 v6 Ooh. Uh, <laughs> because that's just comfort i'm going to lose the saucony oh what I'm going to dump. <laughs> the only reason I'm going to dump the P6000 is because it's already a mashup of different shoes, and you can find that whether that's the Pegasus or something else. That's my logical. I'm surprised, bro. I'm surprised. And that was that was your recommendation to Q as well. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to. Yes. But there's other. There, that's, since that's a mashup shoe, you'd be able to find it. Yep. Nike's got something archival. We no, 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 no. Yeah. It don't exist. You don't. Yeah, so that, no, don't that shoe is gone. They got something else that, yeah, no, that shoe is gone. No, they don't. Gone. They don't, bro. <laughs> you know what? I know, know that hurts you. You sitting, sitting there and you're thinking, my whole world is a lie. I've been told lies. <laughs> <laughs> I done been bamboozled into this shoe. Now he just oh, dumped it and got rid of it forever. That's right. You just you just you just single handedly transform my P six thousand into a Romero five. You, oh, don't you, you, like you know what you need to do. Okay. You know what you need to do now, bro. You need to get a bin, record it, and put your P six thousand. Rick in said dump it. it, so this is because of you, bro. This is because this is what you made me do, bro. <laughs> your fault. Trash. Oh my god, <laughs> man. <laughs> Damn, uh, he had to do me like that, bro. I'm sorry, man. Hey, so now, put now, me in a bitch. They put me in an impossible situation. So now, now I got, <laughs> now I got the story calling you Mr. Dub again. Okay, we <laughs> back to being informal. <laughs> Mr. I thought, I thought we was cool. This man then destroyed my PC. Now, I thought for sure you was going to dump this out. I'm sorry. I I had two of them, so I get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, man. What up, um, man? I'm sick of it. I was gonna I was gonna say just a little notation to that. Do you think like with Nike revamping models like the Vermeer coming out or the Vermeer Five coming out, it's kind of reminding people of the older silhouettes. So what was there previously, so that people can kind of like go, all right, cool. We know the, like especially historians, like sneaker historians, they want to go back and like, have a look at it and say. Oh, that Vermeer was because of this evolution and because of this evolution, because, oh, maybe we should go and check out these sneakers. And to be honest, when we talk about the evolution of, of sneakers, and I always point this out, like Jordan 1, to, uh, the evolution of the Jordan brand is like an evolutionary, a human evolutionary scale where you see the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 6, and the evolution you can see in the sneaker. And it's almost like 
that's in a short span of Joe Jordan's career, but the long span of the Nike careers, you can see that with the sneakers when they release a new variation, all of a sudden it's like, remember this, this came from this, this came from the Pegasus, this came from this, this came from this. And you see that with, you see that with a lot of brands. So I, f- I do feel like rather than releasing older silhouettes, they want to release newer silhouettes with better tech, but reminding people that these were there before that. So remember to go and buy these as well. So hmm. I think that's where that, uh, if you remember that sneaker showcase from, I feel like it was two weeks ago when they went back in the archives. And so now we're getting the air sunder and we're getting the, OG poster Royal phone posit and they're bringing back the uh, air 180 like they they want to kind of revamp and give us these new things but they also like hey don't forget though we got this back in the tub too like so if you want to if this dad or this older stuff is the wave hey don't forget we got this stuff back here in the archives that we can bring out at any time that's what yeah. I'm like hey, listen yes <laughs> They got a bunch of stuff. They're like, you know what? All right, let me go ahead and bring this back out. Let me bring this back out. Let me bring this back out. Like, we can we can really control this market if we want to. We're just trying to let y'all cheat. Yeah. Well, they, well let, let, let them flex. That's the problem. That's, uh, with Nike, it's like, let me just flex a bit. And all of a sudden, like, 20 million other silhouettes come out. And when they're flexing, and you're like, oh, what should I buy? <laughs> they bring right. out their own shit. And they sit <laughs> on the damn shelf. Because we ain't asking y'all for that. Because right. y'all don't listen to us. It's yeah. us, bro. It's us. Listen to us, okay? Don't okay. You. listen. The kids, they don't even know what these things are, okay? There ain't no 14-year-old asking for the Air Max 96, the OG Air Max 96 OG colorways, okay? We still ain't even got the the rest of the OG colorways of the Air Max 95, but y'all keep giving yeah. us good 95s. We, we appreciate good 95s. Give us right. the green and the purple, white Men's and women's OG Air Max 95 colorways that we asking for. Give us the diamond turfs, please. One answer, please give us mind. give us Barry Sanders, <laughs> okay? Get- Barry should have been had that shoe back out whenever they did that celebration for him early. Like that shoe should have been out. He got merch. It just dropped. Barry right. Whenever that merch out. dropped, the shoe should have dropped right with it. They should have. If you want to go back to doing shock drops, you should have did one then. Shot yeah, just, just, give just, us what just, we want. Damn it! Just give the kids the but the Lego Batman cape, Air Max, whatever Robins oh, and to, Adidas, Adidas. Yes. Leave that to Adidas. They got the Lego <laughs> Disney. Hey, my my daughters love that stuff too. Like so, yes, yeah. that's fine. Market that with them, and kids love all that stuff. Kids wear light up sketches until they are what good eight, nine, ten years old. Like whatever, they don't care. And and this is the difference. This is the difference. Their discovery of what's dope to grown people is going to be a whole hell of a lot different than ours was because we had an attachment to this person mm-hmm. that validated the opinions of others. You know what I'm saying? When we get, when we turned on the TV, it was Jordan. You know what right. I'm saying? It was Penny. It was Barkley. It was these guys that had the attachment to the product. Now mm-hmm. it's mellow. It's Ant Man, you know. It's LeBron. It's it's KD. It's Kyrie. So yeah, right. that's why it the, there's a full separation from a nostalgia standpoint that I feel like the brands overlook. Right, and they this, do that with the current, storytelling and the history. Like there's n- they don't yeah. care, it's, and you they don't care. We you can care. see that with what Melo's doing. Yeah, you can see that with Melo's doing. Melo's grown up with like Dexter's Lab and Rick and Morty and all of that stuff. So all that Cartoon gonna... Network stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What is he going to do? He's going to put out these sneakers because he's he's influ- influenced by it when he was younger. You're only as um, influential as what you were influenced by when you were younger. We were influenced by Michael Jordan. We were influenced by um, Allen Iverson and Shaq and Kobe Ooh. and all that stuff. Right. Garnett, yeah, so- Duncan, the stars. You know, these, these they have stars now, and I respect it because I understand what it is. The brands have to understand what it is. Let that stuff. That stuff is for them. The Aunt Pearls and the the SpongeBob's and all that kind of stuff. It gets it gets crossover because it's hoop stuff, right. too. You know what I'm saying? But culturally. We want OG. 
we want OG. We that's all we saying, bro. Right. <laughs> that's all we saying all the time. We want OG. Because we, even if they are influenced by all this other pop culture stuff, they a lot of these younger kids have either aunts, uncles, parents, older siblings who are influenced by the OG stuff. So all that comes yes. from somewhere. You got to and and, 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 this why, and this is why they could release whatever they want to release. They like I'm talking about all the brands. You can release whatever you want to release. You can release the Fruity Pebbles. You can release the Fred Flintstones. You can release the Batman. You can release anything. But when it comes down to it, when it comes to the nitty gritty, the the staple of the actual colorways and silhouettes is always OGs. That's where the staple is. That's where the market is for most of the sneakers. Because like you just said, bro, like you, like the kids will buy what the kids buy. But when they grow up and they think, my dad had those, those uh, five and fours. My dad had those uh, cement trees. My dad had those black, black, black metallic fives. My dad, you know, and they resonate with that. And so they will go back to the OGs. That's the staple, bro. That's always going to be the staple. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We right. They wrong. Uh, <laughs> quick strikes <laughs> right quick strike time back if you if you don't know what quick strike is bro we just go through certain topics and quickly run through them but today bro like i'm going to talk about a magnificent thing that uh, kind of q brought up actually because i was looking at this and i didn't know about this but, but q knows more about this than i do and this is the rivalry low Unheard of brand collaboration with Adidas, and Adidas are doing a lot with the rivalry at the what, with the rivalry silhouette at the moment. I think it's also, I think it's a nice little kind of off cut to the forum because it's quite mm-hmm. similar to the forum. Um, bro, I like I, I put this out. How, you said to me the other day, bro, um, Q, like you said this was limited to how many pairs? I think it was limited a thousand pairs, yeah, and uh. It's sad. I don't know what it's doing right now at this moment. Yo, that, that color that, sold out. That brown pair, bro. Yeah, that one sold out. I checked last uh, last night. That one was gone. Okay. Yeah, it's I ended up actually good. getting the purple one. I like oh, it. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so they, the largest they had in that is a 13 and a half. So I have one other pair. Of uh, just wait, wait. They have a 13 and a half. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold they on. They had a 13 and a half. I'm going to try. That's it. a unicorn. Right. Yep. No. A thousand, pairs, a thousand pairs. Right. A thousand right. pairs, bro. I'm not, I'm not, we're not going to allow you to come on this platform and tell lies, okay? What? what I did. You ain't got no 13 and a half for that shoe. I, that's what I, I did. I hit. 13 and a half. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. Damn, I, bro. Do you, do you understand? I'm pretty sure you do, but I gotta ask: Do you understand how rare that sneaker is? Having a thirteen and a half shoe, yes. Of that sneaker, of that, yes, yes. It's a thousand pairs, and you got a thirteen and a half. Yep, bro. Are we comprehending this properly? Wait a minute. Let's so, let's let this breathe for a second. When, when have when have you ever seen a thirteen and a half? I have one other shoe in my collection at 13 and a half. I have the first uh, Ivy Park Night Runner in a 13 and a half. So it's got an Ivy Park Night Runner in the 13. (laughs) This man saying words that you would never (laughs) hear together ever again on this on the shoe dog podcast. And half sizes half sizes are crazy hard to get as well. Like they're even more limited than full sizes, like in terms of 14 and 13. Like Bro, like when when Q told me this, and then like this was Saturday. Um, Q told me this, and he was like, "They're still sitting, bro." And I was like, a thousand pairs, and they're still sitting." And uh, this is not the only one because this is the, the, the quick strike for this is combined with another another two sneakers, and we're gonna go through, bro. This um this is the 4D Spider Man. This was limited to 10k pairs, and at, at, on Saturday they were still sitting. They were still sitting. This is a collaboration with Spider Man, bro. Uh, we'd added that for the 4D. I how are, how are we talking about right this moment in time that limited sneakers like this would not be the case five years ago or four years ago or three years ago? I feel like that's ago. a that's a wow, that's a very well done shoe. It's on a 4D, so I feel like that's yeah. gonna get that's gonna be priced out of some people's range if they were just on a regular. Like 
if they were on an Ultra Boost or an NMD or something else with a lower price point, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation about them sitting. But it's it two thirty off the rip, bro. like. Mm. I see a lot and, of four Ds on feet though, bro. Like ain't four Ds that that price anyway? They're about two thirty, two fifty ish, right around. I that. see them. I see them. I see them a fair amount to say. Um, they they're not necessarily popular, but Adidas people buy four Ds. Uh, yes, that is a fair statement. If you're Adidas <laughs> heavy, you're going to be a 4D. I think, though, like having this Spider-Man mashup with the shoe, it doesn't have the same cachet as like Nike has done a good job of saying Miles Morales in the Jordan 1 and selling those two shoes so well that everybody else is like, why is, what is this Adidas? Like, that doesn't make sense. That's not a Jordan 1. Nobody wants that. Who asked for that? Who told Sony to go make that deal with Adidas and put that in the video game? We didn't ask for that. Put the... Put that Jordan back on there, like say that. That's also part of the problem. <laughs> the ugly we we was mad because the ugly black and purple utility was living. <laughs> we right. <were> mad. <laughs> right. Nobody wants that shoe. Like, oh wait a minute, that's. I was that's mad, bro. I was mad, and I entered. <laughs> I'm gonna I say this the, 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 uh, the raffle for that. I was mad that that shoe was limited, bro. And this another <laughs> limited Spider Man shoe. Same, no, it's more pairs. It is more pairs of this one than it was of that one. But yeah, bro, that don't make this no clean. sense. This, this is proper clean. I, I like, I like, I like the color combination it's that dope. they're using. It's I like the, we, I like the web on the upper. I actually like, yeah, the and I actually like the kind of sock liner, uh, kind of liner there. The I booty. Actually, yeah, it, I like it, that it, a lot, but yeah, it gives it the city vibe. Uh, if you if you know NMDs, um, they got this, they got the C one sock. This is basically what it is. It, it kind of wraps around your ankle, um, and it like it almost like a sock, pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, it's, I like I like that feature on it. It's gonna yeah, get dirty as hell though, real quick. <laughs> yeah, no, I got the Griffey. I got the Griffey uh, Vapor Max. So I don't. I don't need this. See. Yeah, I I've got the, the NMD City socks, the all white version with the gum out sole. Yeah, that gets dirty real, real quick if you're not if you're not careful. Um, but that's well, not the only one. Right. Like. Never mind. Q <laughs> Q uh. is throwing shade again. <laughs> but, um, but bro, uh, bro, on screen at this moment in time. Ooh. Reimagine Royal. Sweet bro of the year. How? How is it? I hit it on the uh, EA. Mm-hmm. How is it? This shoe is really real? good. It's really good. This is a really good shoe. I don't know. Like, I don't know if people are turned off by the fact that it's an all suede or leather yes. uh, suede shoe, but yes, I'm, I'm not in the habit of telling people to don't sleep, but do not like if you don't have it. That's fine, but if you have it, you you are lucky. You are blessed. Yeah. It's, 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 no, I see. I see the shade. I I can I, I can pick the shade out of out of that. Uh, yeah. I appreciate I appreciate the way you said that because that's how that's how we got to be right. Because mm-hmm. I know we used to we used to do a lot of bashing, and we still do because it's us, right? This is like this is what we do. We all do it. But but it's not it's not a trash sneaker by any means, bro. And when people do that, because it's sitting, it's weird. It's very very weird because of what we used to, and we mm-hmm. we still changing. It's been changing for a couple of years now, and I feel like now we at the we at the bottom now. We finally hit the floor with this I sneaker like with this Royal Imagine Jordan One sitting. Uh, all suede, black and blue. Jo- Remember how how difficult it was to get the royal toe. Yes. For that shoe to to do what it did this this past weekend is is a very very Saturday. This for is the opposite for, for a different reason, opposite yeah. of Saturday. Yeah, it used to be Saturday because if that shoe came out three years ago, you wouldn't have been able to get it. Right. But now. It's it's too available. It's too it's so available that that people get in their feelings about how somebody else gonna feel about what they feel like buying, and that's when you know you're not a sneakerhead. 
Like, I do not care about what you think about what I got on. (laughs) Go ahead on, bro. (laughs) You don't belong over here with us. (laughs) I'm going to say one thing strongly about what I got on. How about you buy it for me? Otherwise, shut up. Please. please. I'm going to say one thing. I'm going to say one, one thing with this. The writing was on the wall already. I'm going to, I'm going to say this with this sneaker, right? I I, I even believe that if this was a leather pair, it would have sold out a bit better, but I still think it would have kind of still sat around. Yeah, no, no, no. I think I, I think it would no, not in the states. I think it would have still sat around here, right? Um, okay, but, let me let me let me let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Cause I, I know exactly where you're going. I appreciate that notion. If this was done the same way as the Chicago was last year, the same exact style, reimagined all leather, crumble leather, outsole treatment, same way as the Chicago, just black and blue. Do you think it would have it would be sitting there right now like it is? That's what you're saying? I, I think, yeah. No, no. I think I think it would have been more uh, more available. I think the Chicago is a, it's a special story, and the Chicago is based on basically the fact that we everybody wanted the Chicago. Nobody it was, was a lot of them. No, 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 no. But yeah, I know. But nobody was talking about Rose. Nobody is talking about Rose. Nobody like no. And tell me one person that's talking about Jordan One Royals before this every imagine came out. People that understand Jordan One history. Yeah, I know. We are. We are. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadows, bands, Chicago's. That's it. OGs yeah, I mean, understand right. that, but I, I get what TJ is saying. Like, yeah, the, every, like every, every, the, every, every, every mom, women, child, every, every person wanted the Chicago, bro. And that's the difference. It transcended okay. the, the sneaker community. It transcended the sneaker community. So um, I, I believe, I believe, yeah, there, there would have been, I think they would have sold out, but I think it would have still been an easier cop than the Chicago re- reimagined. But when I say the writing yeah. was on with this sneaker, when I say the writing was on the wall with this sneaker, I, I, I truly believe like it has to be a special reimagined to sell out, like the like the reimagined freeze and the Chicago reimagined, right? This what, the reason why I said the story was on the board, on the chalk, whatever it was in the papers. This is the pattern bread ones is the reason why I say I saw this coming. Because like I'm gonna say the pattern bread ones exclusively just to the UK. He restocked and restocked and restocked and literally was easy to get. I same got here. there. I got, I got, same, same, same here. Shout out to Rod. Rod said he was in the mall yesterday and they got full size run of uh, patent bread, satin breads in, in all the stores. Bro, bro, three sneakers, patent bread one, satin bread ones, raw suede. Something about changing the material and making a reimagine is not working. It's not working. Give it the age look, put leather on it, and it sells. Like, we white submit three reimagined. Chicago lost and founds reimagined. They were sold out. Right. So, 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 what's up with the foes then? That's going to sell out. What foes? Sorry, the, I missed the, the reimagine, the reimagined Ford, that's gonna, We're not going to have this issue. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. But that, that's, that's leather. That's level, bro. Leather. This is this is this is what I'm getting at, and this is the first time the the reimagined breads are coming out in leather, and and I think that will sell out. That will sell out, mm-hmm. and everybody's anticipating that because it takes a special colorway, and the materials is leather, bro. It, bro, even if they made it in new, but the traditional new, but that it came out in 2019, it would still sell out. But if bro, but if you made that a suede or a pattern, ain't selling out. Bro, ain't no. Whew, you better keep that panel out of the way from the Jordan Four. You better. <laughs> and uh, this is, you see what I'm see what, see what I'm specifically getting at. I'm getting at the the fact that d- I saw this when the Pat and Bro ones came out, and we talked about this. Look, bro, when when the Jordan One reimagined Royal Suede was talked about. And there's a lot of people. Some people are like, yeah, they don't. I might get them. I need, to, I need to see them. In, I need to see them. Hand. As soon as the pictures drop, people are like, no, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. As soon as they drop today, the, the same energy was kept. Right. I saw this coming. Yeah. I saw. Right. If I can see this coming, why can't the brand see it coming? No, they sat on EA. So, yeah, they knew what was up, bro. They they knew what was up when they sat on EA. They knew what was up. Um, as a matter of fact, I can't remember exactly which retailer. It is at the present moment, but somebody, oh, no, man, NBA store, the NBA store <laughs> released full family sizes at 15% off 
exactly. at release. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I, I know I know a retailer in the UK yeah. was selling it for 100 a retail, a retailer in the UK was selling it up for 150 pounds. Uh, it's almost like a normal Jordan 1 price from back in 2016-17. So, so savvy had them for 160 uh three days early. <laughs> that means it's a bunch of these shoes. And that's fine. Like, I'm fine with it being a bunch. I'm not one of those ones where, like, oh, man, this is they made too many of them. I don't like them anymore. Like, that is a dumbass. No, no, no. That's a but <laughs> That's, you got, like that. we got to be really we got to be really careful here when we talk about stuff like this because a lot of people think we're bashing the sneaker because of the, the fact that it didn't sell out no no no, 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 no. no i'm fine with that we're, we're looking at we're looking at it from two perspectives one from a business angle which is obviously nike's nike's uh bottom line and secondly from a sneakerhead which we both i know rick i'm waiting for this sneaker to come i love this i i, I love this i love the sneaker I, and i know, know a lot of people love the sneaker so I, i've got it it's coming so it's fine right but from from nike's angle it's sitting it's in i mean they they're not even, they, i don't know it's we're in this ebb and flow period of like, all right, this is a uh, OG colorway, but we're going to redo it. Let's make a bunch of them because we think it's going to sell through and they miscalculate and it's 180. Like they just kind of miscalculated on this one. That's good for our benefit because we're going to be able mm -hmm. to get them if we want them, get them on sale, probably get them discounted. That's good for us. But when the next time when they say, let's redo this again, there's going to be fewer of them. So we just have to be ready when, okay, if there's something like this, there's not going to be as many. And that's just, uh, that's, 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 that's the cycle of it. That's, that's what it is. You know what? You know what? Every, everybody finna have these. Everybody's finna have these because, because they sitting and it's November. Watch. Everybody finna have these because the, the sales are already coming. It's gonna be a good the shoe is in a, the shoe is in abundance. It's finna work. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mike is gonna still work. sell through. They're not gonna That's, like bro. I'll I'll be surprised to see these readily available after the new year. Christmas is coming. Everybody's I need something to put under the tree. So, 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 hold on, 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 hold on. So you're telling me, you're telling me. That I Nike. Holidays, no, I think the holidays is gonna help this shoe. I don't yeah. think it's not got nothing to do with anything uh, else. No, no, no. Fair point. no, no, no. So, so, so you're so you're telling me Nike really wants to sell their Jordan ones at one hundred and thirty-five pounds, one seventy dollars, no. but I hike. No, 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 no. They've hiked up the price. So I'm just, I'm just, let's, let's, let's just let's go down this little road. Let, 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 let's go, let's just go around down this little <laughs> rabbit hole. Let's go around this little rabbit hole because I like these conspiracies. So you're telling me they've hiked up the price of Jordan One to give you the illusion that they're actually, they're actually like one one eighty pounds or two hundred dollars, but really, really, they'd actually think no, this is still, this still, this still is about one seventy dollars. We we're gonna release it for a higher price, but then we're gonna reduce it and get what we want from it because. We really we want 170 for this are you telling me that bro are you laughing cube because you, you are you telling me that bro i'm just i'm just i'm, just, I'm looking at you there. <laughs> i mean you see it all the time we see it all the time if you go on amazon like before they do prime day something is let's just use a number it's 50 bucks it was regularly 75 like on sale then prime day comes it's the same 50 bucks but the regular price was like 55 bucks like they play those kind of market like label games like they do that all the time so i don't think that's that much of a conspiracy that happens so i, see what I, you're I, know, that. I know that happens in normal retailers but that, we that, 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 does really? everybody does it that's not <laughs> 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 right. next question <laughs> next question <laughs> Next quick track is all right. Cool. Um, Crocs. Oh, you know I can't get over it. Crocs is getting going in heavy. Um, and it looks like they've got a, a the big yellow arches, the McDonald's, um, Crocs collaboration. Uh, I, can you can you name the characters? I know the Hamburglar and, and uh, Ronald McDonald. What's Hamburglar, the other two? Grimace, Grimace, Birdie, Ronald, Birdie. That's the that's her name. Yes, that is Birdie. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, we McDonald kids. We we yeah. we we from the US. All all I know is back in the day they had uh, hamburger hamburger adverts. I remember that. Uh, no, I don't hamburger know. was the man. Look, hamburger got on Air Max on the low. Right. <laughs> and, and Ronald and Ronald got on uh, the, the Air Clown ones. <laughs> Listen, if they wanted to like sell through these, like this is all fine. And I think Crocs has been on this heavy nostalgia kick. Yeah. Those little, um, don't make me say what those are, gibbets. Giblets. Yes. If they had made those the cactus plant flea market toys that they gave away with the Happy Meals when they did that, they would, we wouldn't see any of these because they'd be gone. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. You already know what I'm talking about. Hold on. Man. Let's uh let's put let me let me let me put a little bit of respect on Croc's name, okay? Now I don't normally do this. Crocs are not shoes, okay? So we stay away from Crocs. Only time the last time we talked about Crocs was mischief. We talk about we joke about it, you know. But bro, Crocs is the man. <laughs> and they, that ain't no that ain't no figure of speech. I'm just saying, Crocs is the man. I still don't advise you going outside and doing uh-huh. adult activities with Crocs on on a regular basis. Yeah. You know, I I get the swag aspect of it. You know, spring summertime. You know, you want to go light. You want to go. You know, you want to put on the Soleils or you want to put on the Echoes because the Echoes are hard. I'm thinking about getting a pair of Echoes to wear in the house. Because, you know what I'm saying, like, I, my sister got me a pair of gym. Oh, those, oh, those the, line, the ones you know with I'm the talking? liner on the inside? Yeah, see, yeah. See, see. I'm, I'm, dibbling, I'm yeah. dibbling it out. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? We got Goku. We got Kobe. We got Calls. We got Black Panther. Of course, we got the Days. And the, you know what I mean? Like, you know. So, yeah, I have Crocs, but those are, like, in-the-house things, like, yeah. You never. I live in Memphis. You never know when you got to get down or you got to run Man. or do something. And you can't do that in no crowd. I don't on. care if it's in sport mode or not. You got <laughs> you to get down. You got to get down. You can't do that in no crowds. I was about to say that. Put it in sport mode. Um, no, no, no. no. Nah, you what, the, the best. The best thing to do with that collaboration, like that that McDonald's collaboration, was. Um, those sneakers are dope. I think they. I think they, they, it's a good collaboration, right? Um, but I, I do think what they would have, what, what would have suited them is you could have collected those um, through meals, like kind of meal stamps, happy meals. That would <laughs> oh, be- oh, shit. oh, I know what you're talking they, about. They could have, they could, they could have did a nice little campaign with something like that. I don't, I don't think it would have <laughs> been sustainable, really. But they could have did something. You know, I mean, just- they already have the points in the app, so. I, uh, it's an easy layup. There you could, go. Yeah, you it would have made, made the collaboration a bit more special, just like what they did with the Travis Scott collaboration with McDonald's. When Travis Scott did the collaboration with McDonald's, it would have made it a bit more special because they made a burger for Travis Scott, but obviously they, they could have done a Crocs collaboration with um, with McDonald's and given them the option to kind of go in store, collect, uh, accumulate um, certain oh, points, yeah. and kind of get them. Bro, just, happy just Cro- Crocs is the man, bro. Like, look at, I mean, I'm just scrolling the Crocs website. It's endless. Yeah. Bro, this, endless, this, bro. this looks like a Pandora um, bracelet kind of thing. Yes. It, it <laughs> kind of is. Like, when you go into the actual store, how they have the gibbet set up, it's like, I don't know how you want to call it, but they have like dozens of they have big tables and then they have dozens of boxes and then shelves of just all kinds of different like it's yeah, I got the whole, yeah, I got I do got the whole gibbet. I gotta put it on. I'm sitting here looking like wait a minute. Yeah, I got I got it. I just ain't put it on yet. But no, bro, I just I just I just want to give it up to cross, bro. I ain't gonna laugh no more. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no joke. Like the KFC stuff and like when they really started coming outside for real, yeah. After you know the Bieber uh, cosine, if you will, quote unquote cosine, when they really popped off with the gibbets and they they started doing collabs, they were over the top. They were not mischief level uh, relevant, but they made noise and it's working, bro. Yeah. 
they they use that momentum from uh, from Bieber and actually escalate that snowball into like a massive snowball. And I think they haven't looked back. And it's great to see. It's great to see from like a brand from a branding and a marketing point of view. It's great to see. I'm gonna still laugh at y'all wearing them outside though with outfits. It's not. <laughs> I don't know how how often y'all talk about cracks. Um, and I don't know if y'all mentioned this. You know the movie Idiocracy, the Mike Judge movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Um, you know the shoes that they're wearing in that movie are orange Crocs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was just it was just like the way that movie is set up is like okay. Who went back to the future and just like started like all right, put this in here. That's that's it. Put this in there. That's it. Everybody wearing Crocs. Hey, Mike, say what you want about Beavs and Butthead or any of the other stuff. Mike Judge is like one of the foremost thinkers <laughs> as far as like cinema to me. He, yeah, yeah. I Shout out to him, man. He 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 predicted that one. He got it right too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, 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 guys, go and watch that movie. It's so funny, so so funny, so funny. Cross, Cross then took over the the casual market. It's ridiculous to the point where everybody wants to be Crocs. Yeah. Exactly. Right. All right, moving on to the next quick strike, guys. Let's have a look at let's have a look at Mr. Travis Scott. Cause um apparently I can't find this image outside of social media, so let's take that with a pinch of salt because obviously this is uh, social media news is totally different to mainstream news in terms of sneakers. But it looks like we're getting more official pictures of the cut the check sneaker, the jumping jack, the maybe one of the Jordan one low kind of uh, all infused trainer one sneaker kind of vibe, but if you've got the olive variation because you, if you compare it to the Jordan one low olive, it could look similar. And we've got a black and white variation, which is this. I want to know your thoughts. First of all, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Are you still interested in getting this when it comes out? I never was. No, he was, he was talking to me because okay. I was. Sorry. I jumped the gun. No, I never. Was. No, no. I want to, I want to hear your thoughts before I go ahead though. No. I don't like that shoe. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I um, I like. I think it's got potential. Um, I just like the trainerness of it. Yeah. Uh, normally, I don't like trainers without an air bubble, but I I I'm forgiving of this because of the placement of the. Uh, that back part of the outsole, to be honest with you, it don't it don't seem like it lends itself to have a visible air bubble. Mm-hmm. I, I as you can tell, y'all can probably uh, tell. I've been thinking about this, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> I've been I've been because I'm I'm still kind of are on you the trying to talk though. yourself into this shoe? If you got to do all this convincing, no, 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 no. I'm making sure that I like it as much as I think I do. Before I invest um, the real want to have it in, okay. into the whatever is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the one that we've been seeing the most recently. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. um, you know, I, as much as I don't like to have, I, as much as I don't want to have feelings about it, I do. I got you. All right. Um, I'm... I shout shout out to JF Gray, JF Grails um for the pictures. Um you gotta shout out the people that actually show the pictures. I don't know how true this sneaker is. Um take that with a pinch of salt, but looking at this at this moment in time, it it looks like the sole of the sneaker looks like the scorched Sahara Desert, literally like the scorched earth kind of vibe to it. Um it kind of when I looked at it first, it looked, reminded me of the crep hem Air Max ones, which oh. which is that more of that like gradient no no this doesn't really got traction but more of that almost like a wallaby kind of uh yep. exactly I, i'm not convinced with that cat that jack on the actual outsole right. because once you tread on it a couple of times that jack's going to disappear um yeah there see, you see yeah, yeah um so that that jack might disappear i from the original pictures of what he was wearing i thought they were going to be behind like a translucent outsole with the jack so it is more like with the British khakis that we got. We've seen sixes. a bunch of them. Yeah, we've seen a bunch of them. This is, could be just a, a sample or a mock-up. Um, but I'm not convinced on the outsole. Um, I, if the traction doesn't look great, if I'm honest, it, I, if you're walking out in the snow, you're gonna actually going to you know, break a bump pretty much. No, nah, this swag. This swag right here. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, this, this, is, this, is, this is straight swag. This is a special okay Because it's still a Travis shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll do respect yeah. to... The collaboration, um, that the, the collaboration don't make it a good sneaker, but no. if you like it, 
the collaboration matters. And so I, I, I think you treat it as such. You know, you treat it like a I'm on my year. You treat it like a, a union. Not you, not necessarily maybe an off-white or you know, yeah. But so, yeah. so let's let's use let's use the three of us as a community reference, right? Um I, I'm indecisive with this sneaker. Q's wants it. I like um, it pretty much. You, you you like it? I'm I'm in the middle. I'm on the fence, and Rick doesn't like it. So, they, this this to me is like a uh, you like it or you you hate it kind of sneaker. And I think this is similar to the Air Max One and the Air Trainer One that we saw from Travis. Then I I think this sneaker might be heading that direction. A lot of people will like it. A lot of people won't like it, and a lot of people just want to see the release and see it in hand. And I and I feel that that's that's what I'm getting with this sneaker at this moment in time. If it come out like that, I'm swagging that. Yeah. Okay. And, but, I, but, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna make people that don't. No offense. I'm gonna make people that don't like it wish they would have bought it. Oh, kind of like that's how we're talking about the Royal Reimagine. Like, all right, you can get it. Yeah. that's fine. However, yeah. if you got it, you know, yeah, because 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 you know you know what you can do with it, right? So so yeah. that's that's where you know. Right, that's why I don't ever begrudge anybody that really likes a shoe. Like you like it, then you rock it. You know what you can. Yeah. Hey, I don't. Hey, I don't love it. I don't love it. That have shoes that I don't like, but when they put them on, it's like, okay, I see the vision. You understand? Yes, I guess you, you still don't I like don't, it. Let's say you, don't, you don't like it for you. Right. right exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. Cause, cause I know I when you, you that unheard of when that unheard of uh come that yeah. I already know. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I can't wait to see what it's what. Yeah. And I know it might not come. It might not come right away. I'm just glad you got that shoe for real. Yeah. I'm glad to I know don't... somebody that actually liked it the way we liked it. I wasn't going to buy it, but I love that shoe. That, that shoe itself. I know we're kind of jumping topics a little bit, but the shoe shows that one, you don't need a long runway. You don't need a lot of buildup in order for something to have the impact that you wanted to have. Because we found out about that shoe, what, earlier this week? Mm-hmm. Right? The rollout started on that earlier this week. The story behind it was, like, absolutely amazing. And they had an actual activation in Cincinnati at the store. Like, that's all you need to really kind of have an impact with the shoe and um, the story. That's all we ever asked for. If you if you don't know if you know if you don't know and we're mixing subjects again if you don't know about yeah. the rivalry low, it's based on the co-founders' um, grandmother's couch prints uh, mm-hmm. patterns and stuff like that. And you know w- one thing that's really interesting about that the nostalgic value kicks in. I remember when we had fl- fl- floral pat- couches, and a lot of you guys will probably remember your grandmothers having flower flower couches with there's like the plastic all over it so plastic you don't get <laughs> yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. plastic yep. on the cover is an american thing it never happened in the uk by the way not a lot not it's an it's an american thing but um but i remember that and then you know when you see that sneaker it brings you back to that nostalgic value like right i remember that this is why a lot of people like that and this is why q likes that exactly so yeah, yeah that, that, that's it's gonna be interesting to see what the cat what happens with those cactus um i i don't well there's no release date at the moment i'm i'm still predicting um uh, all-star weekend or, or january all-star weekend for that just just to bring some hype into the early early part of uh, the new year i reckon money, right god all-star weekend is going to be very expensive just so you know <laughs> So, uh, TJ, I don't know. You have to. You don't have to do any of that tax stuff. But we got tax season over here. So come when W two is dropped in January, and everybody start doing their taxes, you got to get your money right right then, because <laughs> it's going to be very, 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 very expensive. Thanks. <laughs> you find something, Q? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. ne- move, move, moving on to the next quick strike. Um, let's have a look at um, Reebok, and um, and I'll see this to this week, and it's really interesting to see, especially after Shaq and Allen Iverson's actually taken on positions within at Reebok. Obviously, C- CEO and COO, and it looks like the answer free could be possibly returning, bro. So I want to know your thoughts on that, Rick, because I know you, uh, Q, told me that you like um, Reeboks. Uh, that's one of the shoes that I actually attempted to play basketball in back in the day. Um, I like that they are leaning into 
the nostalgia of what they have, that shoe just that colorway of that shoe doesn't necessarily do anything. Uh, but yeah. I like that. But that's always going to have to be their thing for right now is they just got to lean into their ar archives and go with what they got because Reebok doesn't have anything. I don't know what new tech they've had in the last decade, 20 years, mm -hmm. whatever. So they just got to lean into that stuff. But they need a, They need like the Nuggets colorway of that shoe or something to make that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, you know what? This or they're going to have to lean into a collab and say, "Hey, uh, brand over here or boutique, do something with this shoe," or let Frank Cook do something like he did with that question and make a bubble chuck. Do something else with that shoe. That colorway uh, just doesn't work. I like I like Reebok working with artists more so mm -hmm. than I like them working with brands. Um, mm -hmm. this silhouette is is cool. It's reminiscent of a lot of other basketball silhouettes, though, which I think is not good for it because Reebok ain't got no. I mean, <sighs> it gives Tachi vibes. It gives N one Tachi vibes. If you want to, be it honest. does. Yep. It also gives Jordan thirteen vibes. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, <laughs> and and we got. With four different spinoffs of the Jordan 13 mm -hmm. from Jordan brand already. Mm -hmm. It give me it give me Grant Hill vibes. You know what I'm saying? It give me uh uh what's the other Fila basketball shoe? I I know what you're talking about. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You thinking about the stack house joint? Stack house, stack house. It give me Grant Hill and Stackhouse vibes as well. You know, so a, a a cool cool colorways and collabs would do it some justice, but who Reebok ain't got nobody right now. And Shaq and AI ain't the ones that's gonna do it. You know, what I'm saying creatively, they got they got to get they got to get somebody in there creatively that's gonna yes. make it cool. Somebody that's already cool. You know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying because Angel Reese ain't gonna wear all these. She, ain't, she can't do it by herself. They gotta get some I got, more people. I've got a question. I've got a question then. Um, do, like, do you think this is a stopgap? And the reason why I say this, this is a stopgap, because we know we know what the change in Reebok is ha actually happening at the moment. And they're releasing older silhouettes, which which is good because it, they're kind of starting to rem remind people that they still have a, a sort of a range, a, a range. They but the, we that they. No, no, we, it's, it, it, albeit a small range, but they do have some range, right? Mm -hmm. But do you think, like, getting in the um, athletes from NILs, um, getting in all the, all the, like, signing new players and stuff like that, yeah. giving, giving them signature sneakers, they're gearing up. And it's only gonna, it's going to take a year or so or a year or two or so to get that, uh, like, out there in the open. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like they're just saying, we need to release something, we need to make sure people know we're still around, but this is a stopgap until we get everything in line. And then once it's in line, we can start pushing the new stuff, like the new tech, the new signature sneakers, the Damn, new... They ain't got no tech. Like bro said, they ain't got no new tech. So I, I, no, no, I think that's, that's, that's going to hurt them when it comes to dealing with new athletes because the new athletes need the new tech. Right. They need performance. Yeah. And and this is why it's, this is why it may take two and one or two years or three years or even five years to right. come to that conclusion. Um, but th I think we've seen more movement from Reebok over the last year or so than we've ever mm -hmm. seen prior to that. And, uh, th and this, it's just a few years because like, the hot one yeah. stuff and the, the return of the OG uh, oh, Shacks yeah. and, and then the pumps and the, the Kemps and you know they've been working. They've been working. They've been. They've been dropping mm -hmm. LOGs. Right. I think he's yeah. his point. I think they're gonna have to let artists or artists work with whoever they have on their roster to create something out of an OG. Like I said, the, the, the I one I referenced I earlier, the the question Bubba Chuck, which told a story about Alan Iverson and his love for fishing and letting an artist actually take a chance with an OG and put their spin on it. That's kind of what they're gonna have to do with who they have on their roster until they get some new tech or do something else. That's how they're going to have to approach it yeah. in order to be. That shoe was hot. That Bubba, that Bubba Chuck uh, was hot. Yeah. I came from, I didn't understand it. You know, it wasn't for me, but um, 
it, you couldn't avoid hearing about that shoe when when it you know was out there. So you don't hear that much about it now, but when it I, dropped, I keep it on my search list. That's one of the ones that I was like, oh, I like that. Uh, I just no, I'm not paying that. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <that's> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna definitely say like um, they they are playing a small game of chess to make sure everything's aligned. And I, I think I think that I, at this moment in time that I don't think they've actually they've got all their pawns. They haven't really got their pawns in position. But uh, to be honest, and and mm-hmm. until they do, until they kind of kind of get it all in line. I don't think we're going to see what we're going to see from, from actually Reebok. I did in, in, do enjoy the sneakers and stuff questions. Like those, those are dope. The materials they use on the were dope. And that's, that, that was more of a brand collaboration. So that, that's one. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Point, yeah. yeah. So you, we talked about above us as well, but it's going to be interesting. Like I want to, I want to see what direction Alan Iverson and, and Shaq take this. I have not known Shaq to lose in business. So, He's going to, I think he's going to think outside of the box. He's going to just try some stuff if it works. Like they have no expectations. If they can do whatever they want, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't think they're going to lose any ground. (laughs) Shaq playing with Walmart money, man. (laughs) (laughs) You playing with Walmart money, (laughs) you can can afford to take a couple chances, you know? (laughs) Right. Yeah. 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 All right. Last quick strike we're going to go into. And this is going to be um, quite an interesting one because I don't know what from, well, we know, we know, we've seen it in social media recently. We've seen all the pictures. We've seen, I don't know how true this is. Obviously, every story we take with a pinch of salt. But, bro, the Dusty Olives, no swoosh on the sneaker. Um, this was kind of put uh, so, all over social media this week. Like... Give me your thoughts before I give you my thoughts. <laughs> it's to say that that's a QC issue is <laughs> the understatement of the year. But what do you do with that? Do you like keep it for like nostalgia's sake? Like, or do, what do you even do with that? I don't. <laughs> I keep excuse laughing instead in the background as you can see. <laughs> like, I don't even know. This, I don't know. One, I don't understand how that even happens. Like, can you look at? Can you flip the paper? Or does it have a swoosh on it? No. Send it back. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I don't understand. Well, is, is this is this a cap though? Like, are, are we? I don't know. Is is this real? Do you bro, think this bro, story? Bro, bro. Zoom in. Zoom in on that. Let's examine. Like, are there? Let's examine. Like, Zoom in on that. Must, yeah. Do you? I don't see no stitch lines, bro. I don't see oh, no I'm, stitch lines. No, go go to the next picture. I, I'm gonna. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Right, That's the no one. Stitch no stitch lines, bro. All right. So, and, so and, unless you, unless you got Supreme Photoshop and you can take those lines out, I. Right, cool. I'm going to say, do you, do you think they opened the box and saw this and thought it was okay? The QC check was a visuals and they never turned the sneaker around to see both sides. Because yeah, like, it like it maybe, if it was like this picture in the box with, with the actual the, the, the side with the swooshes there. Because yeah. yeah. the, the lateral side is missing. How the do it get that far though? It shouldn't even get that far. How many people see and touch these sneakers before they actually go in the box? Somebody should have seen that. That's it. That's the question. Bro. That's the question. So it's, it's fundamentally we 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 had QC issues maybe three years ago when even no, remember, no. remember the Crimson Force Crimson Force came out and even before then we was having QC issues. That was we always had QC issues with sneakers, but that was the predominant predominant time when we were having massive QC issues. All right, all right, all right. So let's let's line it up, right? Crimson Force, right? Mm-hmm. Hella issues. Hmm. The Carmines. Carmine sixes with the pink uh midsole, yeah. The pink midsole. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. what was it? The the bread fours. My bread fours crooked. My not bread fours, I'm sorry. The fire red fours. Oh. Mm. My fire red fours are crooked. The toes aren't square with each other. One one toe is more pointy and the other is more square. Mm. Oh, oh from the top down. Okay. I, I, top down. I can, can I go can I go older? Can I go older? So wait, wait, wait. Reimagine threes. Remember the re- the pair of reimagined threes. Oh, with one the, had Nike and one L- had Jumpman. 
or mismatch elephant mm -hmm. print, like all mismatch the elephant print, print not being consistent. Wait, that, which what you got, bro? Uh, well, I was going to say, well, I, I'm, I was going to go older than that, but I was going to just say quickly, what about the camel freeze with the, with the Jordan, with the well being yeah. well hung? Yeah, 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 yeah. That too. Um, <laughs> but that too. remember the Jordan 13 mellow, the mm -hmm. yellow and black. Yeah, <laughs> that, red that. Coming through the black. I mean, the red's coming through the yellow. Yes, and, and they, they downgraded yeah. that to a B grade and sold right, it in the outlets. Right. It really annoyed me because I wanted that sneaker so badly and it, I couldn't get it because they were released. And I um, on like a it. dummy. Hmm. I was, oh, bro. A, I was, bro, full size run in the Nike outlet, bro. I was sitting there going through boxes too. I opened up like six, seven boxes, bro. Just to look at like, of 11s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, there were some, there were some pairs that were, cool enough for me to go ahead and because they were 170 with 20 percent off so you know it was a good buy but i didn't pull the trigger and i regret it to this day and i just saw a pair of them on foot uh last weekend really? at the comedy show shout out to you george and the um <clears throat> the crew, but yeah that, that thing is so hard i was disappointed i look to be honest i i was if it came out i would have got it because it never came out, I didn't get it because I don't know what I was going to get. And that's the problem with it. Because it, once once it goes through authentication, you don't know what you're going to get like from any retail site. And once you get it, you can't send it back and you're stuck with it. And I don't want, I don't want to see it. I want to make, especially if it's a B grade, I want to see it. And unfortunately, that was the case with the sneaker. And, and, I, and that kind of really annoyed me because it, could, it was going to go well with the University Gold 12s I have because it, everyone loves a black and yellow sneaker. Though, it's, a, it's a lot of good pairs out there though. I see a lot of good pairs all the time. I, I just seen put the trigger on it. I feel like on the plus I got the uh the white and yellow ones now, so I feel like that itch been scratched mm -hmm. a little bit. So well, well, the, uh, the, the Del Souls, yeah. Del so yeah. I ain't worried yeah. yet. Need to pull them out. That's I feel like that's a GR that's a GR sleeper too. That Del yeah. Souls nice. We know we know the we know the suede on 13s ain't really suede. It's cool. Right. You know <laughs> it's, it's cool. We we own the little bit of leather we get. We know it ain't the best quality leather, but thirteen is comfortable as hell, bro. The Zoom Ooh. era of Jordans, dog, and that's that's the thing with these these people that don't go past a, a certain number. Yeah, twelves and thirteens and fourteens to a certain extent mm -hmm. are some of the more comfortable Jordans that you can wear, bro. You can wear thirteens all day. That Zoom. Well, 12 you just got to break in. You got to get past that. Um, right. That's tough exterior. But it, once you do, it's a yeah. uh, but, so, but going, back to, going back to this, would you keep this? No. Not if I was planning to wear it. No. Uh, yeah, it's in the bed. Uh, what, would you, what do you think people would say if they saw you wearing that, though? I'm not wearing it. I'm, 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 I'm going to do, I'm going to take pictures. And this is gonna be a post, and I'm going to the store. Like I'm not, I'm in a place where I, where I got multiple Nike stores. So I'm going to one of these Nike stores, and I'm making a, a big old funny fuss about this. No, you can't wear that out because I'm like, we got on some foo foo. Like, what are we doing here? I know, I know. A lot of people are gonna say, "Oh, you got you A's on your feet. Where's a swoosh right. on that and stuff like that." But like, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of a, a twist on it. Remember, the, we've had a couple of sneakers like this. Uh, and the predominant one I remember was the gold, the, the gold top three toe, the Jordan one gold toe top threes, the complex exclusives. Um, and was it complex con? Yeah, complex con exclusives. Yeah. And one of them had the swoosh upside down, and. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. Now, that was going for like two. I don't know, what wasn't it? Soldier Boy who tried to kind of buy that or something like that, and for, and then the, the, the resale shop was quoting him like two grand or something like two and a half grand. Bro, I got an idea. I think I see. You heard it. it. Go ahead. You heard it here. You heard it here first. It is not to be used without express written consent of the True Dog Podcast. Exactly. <laughs> what you said. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Nike should use stuff like this as a golden ticket. Bro! Best idea ever. Best idea ever. 
This is the golden ticket, bro. This is the one that when you when it happens to you, guess what? You unlock. We go. We go. Flew you out, and, and we go. We go. Pe you. So you know you're about, we yes. gonna flew you out. We gonna pe you in in the silhouette that we uh, janked up for you. We gonna give you the one that you bought. And your, your refund, you know, all expenses, campus tour, LeBron building, yeah. Jordan this, employee stole, you know what I mean, lab, you know, design your blah, 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 go eat big Enjoy. restaurant, five star, whatever they got going on in Oregon, bro. That's what we doing. Golden team. Bro, it's, it's Nike Wonka and the sneaker factory. That's- <laughs> yes. I like that. <laughs> Not to be used with that express written consent of the uh, podcast. The golden ticket for Nike Wonka and the Sneaker Factory. Come and see us. Come and join us. We'll customize that non swoosh to a swoosh, whatever you want it, and you come and check out the factory. <laughs> see, see, I was thinking about that in a different way. You use that as a blank canvas. Maybe make that lateral side or wh- whichever side more of a Velcro, and you can do your swooshes however you want to. That's yeah, yeah. They ain't got that, do they? The only like they have the like the EB Vomero that, has the Velcro with the different uh, attachments like the dragons and all that stuff. No, what's, I was what's the SB dunk? It. The SB dunk with all the the patches on it came uh, out uh, not too long ago. You talking about the neck face? The neck face. The neck face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but I, 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 I'm gonna be honest. I won't. I won't be sending that back. I won't be sending that back. I, I, from a nostalgia point of view, that's a one of one. Mm. I get that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the guy, the guy with the with the camo threes. I'm I'm on the fence about all that stuff, bro. Because I don't. I mean, I wear the patches on my camo threes anyway, mm-hmm. so it wouldn't be visible. But it, what is this about? We keep talking about shoes with patches, but I think we want to be able to. And with as many shoes as they make, we still want to be able to individualize our shoes, make it an expression of us. So I just like the Nike on the back versus the Jumpman. You, you know what? But the thing is, the pat, the whole patch thing has been done though. Like not 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 done to that extent like we we think it is. But remember the Tinker Freeze with the look like the Air Max ones exactly. with the mm-hmm. Swiss. Yeah, they, they they kind of just do the, the disposable slot, not disposable, interchangeable swooshes that they had. They've yep. done that. Um, but and they bro. People slept on that, bro. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I saw it everywhere. Everywhere. It was there. It was in my size. It was on sale. I bought the black one. I didn't like the the, the white and red one. The yeah, cement one that. was cool, but uh, it was gone because it was pretty hype, I guess. The as, far as, baby. As, far as, that, as far as that pack is concerned. Oh no, we don't. I don't. I, ain't, I don't like talk about the Timberlakes because that's another sleeper. Also, yeah, I messed on. Yep. If you but but if you search that shoe, you can find it for two seventy five and an eleven three hundred. <laughs> yes. Not, no. In my size, I don't know. <laughs> right. You know, I'm pretty <laughs> sure this is very stupid for you, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I ain't never I ain't never feel the need to, to pull the trigger on it, but I definitely uh looked into it for for a little bit. But no, bro, this this manufacturing stuff, dog, it's 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 just gonna keep happening. Yeah. Mm. This yeah, is this is bad. Though. This is really really bad. Yeah. This is as bad as two different back taps. Yeah. But but the thing is. You could you like Q. Uh, I believe there's an extent to QC problems. Obviously, when you have mesh not stitched in, when you have like all the stuff that's wrong, the color, the color bleeding, all that stuff. I don't think that's great for the brand. But sometimes a miracle happens. This is why they don't put a swoosh on it, and all of a sudden, like basically, you just get a one of one miracle sneaker that's nobody's got. Uh, you know what? You know where it came from. You know what? Who you bought it from? Nobody can tell you otherwise. It's a oh, it's a you waste a fake blah 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 you got the pictures you got the receipts and you know that's a one of one so who else gets a one of one bro from from the brands but and if, even if it's a mistake who gets a one of one from the brands it's a happy so, mistake yeah. for you i get it 
I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, I understand it. I understand it. Um, do you wear it? Do you really wear yeah, it? Yeah, that's a question. Are you going to wear that? Or are you just going to put it um, in? Well, like you keep it, was, it, but do you wear it? If it was the upside down gold tone NRG, yeah, I would wear it. Yeah. But it, 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 no these dusty olives. No, 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 these, these dusty olives from my look, I when I am gonna be honest, when I saw these dusty olives, they reminded me of the TK or you call it TJ Maxx's. I call it TK Maxx. It's just TK Maxx here. That was those remind me of the TK Maxx non swoosh, no checks, no stripes. But guys, it's still gonna be all right, trust me. <laughs> it's still gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, nah. It's, instead of instead of uh three stripes, you get three swooshes. <laughs> 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 Imagine. Well, okay. If it, if it had, if it didn't have a sport, if it had three swooshes accidentally stitched all one on, on top of the other, are you wearing that? <laughs> Wait, this the, pro, the, the unpolaroid polaroid toss. <laughs> yes. What do you mean? Because uh, we we talk about three stitched on just one swoosh or. Like no swooshes anywhere else, just three swooshes on. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. It's got swoosh on the other side, like normal, like a that, like a dunk low. But all of a sudden, on the on the meat on the lateral side, where you ha- where we see no swoosh, but wait, actually, wait, wait, wait. you said you said too much. Here we go again. Inside, here we go again. Inside is medial. Inside outside is lateral. Yeah. Here we go, here we go again. <laughs> giving away too much sauce. Okay, there's too much sauce. To be saying out loud without the spreads ring consent of the shoot dog podcast, I better not see you that one y'all doing my shit. I ain't, I don't know how to say it the correct way, the legal way. Yeah, but, it doesn't um, have to be used for that express ring consent of if the uh I'm gonna go if the shoe fits the shoe dog podcast, them too. And we, all all we, of all us. the above. You mean all of intricate? Us. <laughs> we need to get Okie dokie, Q's tip for the week, bro. What is it today, this week? What have you got? What informative tip have you got for this week, bro? The game should be told. Product is to be sold. Ooh. That's the bottom line, because Stone Cold sets up. Always coming with the knowledge, bro. Always coming with the knowledge. <laughs> okay. Um, that was that was pretty much all our quick strikes done. There's only one thing left to do, bro. Let's do it. <laughs> when resale is too high. Damn, resale. Hold on, hold on. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beasts. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Welcome back to Sneaker Court of Public Opinion with me, Judge Public Opinion and Executioner. And today we have Rick Dub, and he's going to bring us a case. What's your case today, bro? My case is concerning those who misinterpret early leaked sneakers. Mm. Gentlemen of the court, I think those who create mock-ups without having any idea of what a shoe looks like should be banned from the sneaker space. Prime example. On your previous show, you talked about the upcoming Amamanier 3 and the 4. And Mm. we got mock-ups of those two shoes. One of those mock-ups, the 4, looked eerily like an earlier mock-up of a shoe that we never got. In the tweet Uh. accompanying the post, they actually outlined, I have no idea what this shoe even looks like. These are just mock-ups. The news of that post was actually, the, the important part of that post is the fact that we're actually getting another three and another four. That's the, that's the meat 
of the post. Having these mock-ups when you have zero clue as to what the shoe looks like does a disservice because everybody's going to get pissed when we get a shoe and it doesn't look like the mock-up that you said you don't know what it looks like anyway. Everybody's going to go off of this and everybody's going to be mad. Like, that's not what it look. That's not what it's supposed to look like. The mock-up said it's going to be this. These hurt more than they help. Get rid of them. Trust me, bro. I know. Trust me, bro. That the whole Georgetown blue Jordan 5 that we're getting, the Moonlight 2.0, but in blue, the craft variation of that Jordan 5 absolutely looks terrible. And we're Jordan 5 fans, me and Q, and we absolutely detest that sneaker. That mock up sold us a dream, a pipeline that blew up in our face and gave us something that was absolutely horrendous, like a Frankenstein that should be buried and burnt and never looked at again and I bro I 100% agree with you these mock-ups are false these mock-ups are a delusion of somebody's probably wanting a sneaker that looks like that but can't design a sneaker like that so he put it out like that I bro I 100% agree with you scrap mock-ups get rid of them and never look at them again <laughs> So on that guilty, and do you want to give us a verdict of what they should be reprimanded with, Rick? You get your account locked for a month, something. Just stop. <laughs> Just stop. Again, the news is the news. You don't need the extra stuff. Like, get your account locked for a month. That's what I say. <laughs> so be it. Rick Dub has spoken. Your account shut down. Go find something else to do for 30 days. And when you come back, come back with some real information. Stop playing with the people because we don't appreciate it. All right? When resale is too high. Damn reseller. Hold up, hold up. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Ooh, crash and burn, crash and burn. Oh. All these mock up sites, bro. Like, I respect yeah. these good heads. Be honest with you. I respect uh, him for the actual news that he puts out. Mock ups are. <laughs> And then there will be a post of like, hey, how close was our mock-up to the actual shoot? Like, oh, cut that bullshit out. So this, you, this, you know this, really this, this, this is the thing, bro. This is the thing, bro. Remember uh, when I was telling you, TJ, about the co-worker? I think we talked about it on the pod. I had a co-worker that um, yeah. is casual. And he was looking at concepts thinking that they were real. I hate those this is the type of trouble that mock-ups bring mm -hmm. to the the greater community you know what i'm saying not necessarily the, the sneaker heads but people that buy sneakers and they get misled by a lot of this news and they come at me the known sneaker head and say hey you seen these before and i say no nah, bro i don't know what you're talking about and they try to grief me right. like they got something up on me because i don't know about the night rider 11 because ain't no night rider 11 yeah, oh. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's like, oh, uh, you know what? It's that whole, oh, I know something that you don't know. It's like, come on, man, come on, man. You like, I've got one up and no, no, it's not about getting a one up on other, other people, it's about getting actual factual news. Uh, and bro, I agree with you. Like, Z Sneaker is like one of the best people that gets the information early and get and communicates it. But when it comes to like, bro, we had me and Q always talk about mock ups and we hate looking at mock ups, especially when like the what the fours came did, didn't come out like they wanted to. The we've got at the bro. The funniest thing was, you know what? There's always little funny things about mock ups. Anyway, when we had the the House of Heat do a mock up with the House of Heat stamp in the back in the UA, actually produced right. a sneaker with uh, the stamp. With that was funny, bro. Like, that that was too funny. Um, but when even like even like the Emma Year Four, when they showed the white white variation of the mock up and some actual, I thought it was a custom or a UA that actually produced a sneaker, and it actually produced a white variation, and everybody got hyped and like, oh, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this. This is look, this looks dope. And then they then they dropped the violet or um colorway on it, 
and it was too funny. It was just funny to see, but it doesn't. You know how you see so you want something like let's just take it from primal you want you see something you want it and you don't and you, when you get it it's not exactly like you 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 get it it takes away from uh, the, the the actual thing you wanted so like all of a sudden like oh i wanted i wanted a bot i wanted a sneaker and it doesn't look like a sneaker got it when it gets comes in hand it kind of puts it kind of taints it it kind of puts a black smudge on it and you're like or a, or a dark smudge and you're like why like why do you just just Give us the news, and and these obviously these color blockings come from the color codes that are released with the actual. The, That's a PSG bro, four with maroon yeah. or whatever wine, whatever color right. the way that is. That's right. a PSG and it, four, and it's, which is and it's hard, hard, bro. It's hard. Both of them hard. So if now, you're not bro, locked in, if you're not locked in like us, and you know better, right. you're gonna be looking at this like. Ooh, I can't wait till yeah. that come out. Guess what? But now, Guess what if they release both of those colorways in brown, like the upper, the all, all upper levels in brown? Like the, the the thing is, it's the color codings. Uh, the color coding is the color coding, and people produce mock ups on the color codings that dictated from maybe a potential future release. And I, I can see that, but sometimes they get it totally wrong. Like the violet oils for the Jordan fours predominantly everything on, on that on that sneaker and that could be the same with the brown like the both who we're not going to get we're not going to get an Amman year three that looks like the Amman year three that released already we're going to get a different variation and that might all be all brown or that Jordan four that might be a pack all brown pack that comes out but which is totally different to the mock-ups and how it's gonna like this yeah. moment in time everybody that's looked at that is thinking you know what I like those and it might take away from that release as soon as we get it. Right. I'd rather just what, talk about it. Go ahead, Keith. Ain't no telling what them people going to do, bro. They yeah. already showed us that. This is, the, this, is the, this is the main question for, for you guys. We saw the white variation of the mock-ups for the Amman Mania 4, and we got the Violet, violet Ore. Did, do you like the Violet Ore less because it looks? it doesn't look like the mock-up? No, that's what make it dope. Oh, it's, right. it's it's a ain't no other Jordan Four like it. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, and, and, and I agree with that. I hundred percent agree with that. But there's some people out there that don't like that Jordan Four as much well, as they damn. did. Then I they're an idiot damn. for paying attention to a mock-up when they says we don't know what it looks like. Like, come on, man. <laughs> that's why I like. Like, I don't understand that. Like, no, but you don't know what it looks like. Why are you getting upset off of somebody's concept and it's like, oh, it just don't match. I don't like it. Like, what? You shouldn't like it from the get go. If you don't have an actual shoe in hand or an actual picture, like I actually would rather you leak the actual picture and it be a terrible picture. But at least we have an idea of what the shoe actually looks like. Do that yeah. as opposed to just making something up out of the figment of your imagination. I think. I think it's a system of of what social media is at the moment. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be really honest. Everybody wants to be the first, right. not 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 the not the correct person. No, no, not, not with the facts. Like and it is, and you know what? The the Amamania Five, the black variation, is a prime example of of that. And the fact the fact that people reviewing that sneaker, showing first pictures of that sneaker, and they probably used like a UA or a different variation and customized it and made it look a certain way. Now everybody, like, you know what the funny thing is? Everybody that did that is actually looking real sus at this moment in time, right? Nobody, and it catches up. Nobody people. learned from that uh, cactus plant flea market, flea two, getting yeah. something early and then say, oh yeah, you need to go a size and a half down. Then the shoe comes out, Oh, you need to be true to size. Nobody learned. Nobody's learning a lesson from that. Stop, bro. Yeah. Stop. No, nope. all Mr. Specials are not the same. Bro, I just got. <laughs> I, I just. I promise you, I just got a firsthand account of that very thing, bro. Shout out to Retro Rick. He got his cactus plant flea markets like we said he would. <laughs> we knew he was we know he was going for those. He finally got his pair and he said they was true to size. See? So you gotta be careful where I, you get your stuff from. I saw that clip as well. Uh, and it was it was in the wasn't it in like a resale retail, one of the retail resale shops, and they were like, go half size this or half size that. And uh, I'm like, mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you gotta you gotta pay attention, and bro. Like I said, man, these yeah. I'm on my year um, 
mock-ups. I like them. If the shoe came out like that, I would like it. I would I would try to buy both of them. But the fact of the matter is that's probably not what it's going to look like. <laughs> no idea what it's going to look like. No. I can suspend disbelief long enough to look at it and then move on from it because I'm not going to hold on to it and get myself riled up for right. disappointment a la the Shadow Back Boy 3.0. Which was not even close mm-hmm. to what we got. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A la um, the Bordeaux ones. A la the Shadow Back Boy 4. A la the Pine Green uh ones a la the the green the uh the pine green threes a la the uh what was the 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 ones you like the purple and green fours that came out that everybody was saying was uh gonna look like the undefeateds and they came out purple and green oh, the, the, the same canyon, thing the canyon fours canyon the canyon purples the yeah. same thing they tried to do to this olive uh craft four trying to say it was gonna be undefeated again and it's not. It's the craft olive four. Okay, so relax, everybody. It's gonna be okay, <laughs> right? Yeah, but but like guys, I'm I'm gonna say I'm I'm opposite of Q. Just keep doing it. It gives us a conversation. <laughs> it gives us a, like we can have a conversation without the mockups. Like we can have a conversation. Like right. We see what Amma Manier is doing with their shoes, right? So especially all the ones that they've dropped lately, we're getting a white and a black version of a shoe. So it wouldn't yeah. surprise me if, like, the three that we get next is uh, inverse of the three that we got. Or if we get a four, it's the inverse of something that we got. Because they're good lately for giving us the flip, uh, yep. the home and away version of a shoe. We can have that conversation all day without getting a stupid mock-up. That's all I'm saying. If they make a black version of the one, I'm I'm retired from snow again. <laughs> black? Imagine, imagine. If we talk about mock-ups, here go a mock-up for you. There you go. Black cracked leather with the sail swoosh mm. with burgundy hits. Let's see. Burgundy also uh sail midsole. Let's see. Same color, same color outsole on the white. Just make it black and, and make the swoosh sail and give us give us give us some 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 maroon, some burgundy Nike on that. I'll buy that. See? Yeah. I'll buy that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? They, uh, with the freeze, they need to introduce a little bit more color on on the uppers with the freeze. I, I I feel like you know when we got that women's exclusive. I can't remember the name of it, but he had that. He was predominantly white with a yellow midsole, and it was a women's exclusive. I can't remember the name the now. Laser yellow. Orange, whatever kind of thing. No, 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 no. I, 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 it came out maybe two, three years ago. It was I, I liked that a lot, but I, I missed out on getting it. But um, if if there oh, was one? The, no Jordan three, three, the one that can be, I remember that three because I think citrus, a citron, whatever. Yeah, it, may, it's, it, it was easily customizable to make it uh customizable. White and bright orange. orange. You can make it a Kobe three if you wanted to. I yeah, remember this. Yeah. Year. yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. Bro, I, I would I would love it if they chucked that yellow on the upper and then and can kind of kept it kept it different. Like it to have a more like uh, like a uh, purple all purple Jordan three or all yellow Jordan three or or all like we seen all red and all all blue for all navies. I I think I don't know. Well, you want to them have... to take the Khaled approach to the shoe and make it the whole upper or the majority of the upper one solid like. Primary yeah. color. Oh, 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 Michigan, Michigan, yellow with blue, great blue, blue elephant print. You could blue and great elephant print. You could. The and Ohio this, State fan of me would not ever wear that shoe, but you could. And this is this is why I like the Archie Ohio Brown. State? No, nah, it's O H I O. Yes, it's the red though. The red is too. It's too. They got well, what's the Ohio State Forge though? So yeah, y'all y'all lied already. <laughs> but 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 yeah, this, 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 they, they, when when they do do that, I I do enjoy like a, a, a predominantly different color, like either not not like a black or a white. <laughs> like when they, like this is why, like I said, the Archie or Brown freeze, the winterized freeze, I think super dope. The colorway they use on that, um, stuff stuff like that, I do enjoy. It, even the bio bio pages, Tinker bio pages, bro, dope. 
on like the colorway, the brown colorway and stuff. I like when they do that. I do like when they do that. They need to do that a bit more. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's a lot, man. Just, just do your, do your due diligence, people. Try to get as much uh, real information as you can. It is tough when you're first starting out trying to right. wade through you know what's real and what's not, and figuring out the patterns and the, the trends and the, just the culture in general, how people move and who you can trust and who you can't trust. Because it's so much, it's a lot. It's a whole lot, but we're gonna make yeah. it together. Exactly. Um, but yes, Shooter Podcast Episode Ninety One with the bro Rick Dub. Go make sure you go follow Rick on the socials. Go shout your uh, social, bro. Uh, I am Rick Dub everywhere, whether that's formerly Twitter, IG, uh, threads, wherever. I'm Rick Dub everywhere. Um, follow me. Appreciate y'all for having me on. Uh, wait, 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 out. wait, wait. Shout, out, shout out the show. Shout out I the am, show. I, I got you. I'm shouting out uh, If the Shoe Fits, our live IG show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 o'clock Central. That's me, the homie, Mr. Miller, uh, our temporary replacement, uh, Kiki. And uh, the homie Greg, uh, Lace Differently. Um, check us out every Wednesday, 7 and Central, 8 Eastern. Yep, yeah. and I can vouch for every single one of those um, people because they are absolutely awesome. Go and check them out. Make sure you follow them. And um, the content is absolutely awesome. If you like, if you rock with us, you should be rocking with the, uh, all the bros. And um, and obviously, yeah, go, go and check, go check them out. But episode 91 – Hope you hope you did hope you did it, guys. Enjoy it. You know we try to bring you as much entertainment as possible. Me and Q and can kind of get some dope dope guests on board as well. So go and go and make sure you do all the normal stuff. Like, follow, subscribe, and just come and check us out. If you have got if you got conversation, if you have got a subject that you want us to bring up on the Shoot Dog Podcast, come reach out and talk. Just talk. For sure, for sure, man. Listen, y'all make sure, like TJ said, y'all follow everybody, especially the bro Rick Doug. Um. Hopefully we're gonna have Rick back again sometime in the near future. Absolutely. Uh if I ain't if I ain't grown him enough about being from Memphis. Uh <laughs> <laughs> as as usual, okay. as usual. We wanna um wish everybody a great day, great week, great month, great remainder of the year, and please stay away from our size elevens and Rick's size fourteen. In a couple of weeks, when the sneaker that shall not be named releases, because we all need that. Um, <laughs> guess what? You What's should up? never, ever, you should never, ever believe the hype because sneakers don't make you cool. You make the sneakers cool. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Peace out, guys. Peace. peace, peace. <laughs>